All right, hello. I'm going to do this testing in real time, so if anything comes up or any problems, uh, you'll be able to see them because you'll have the same problems, obviously. So um, I will have this uh, animation. I just got a simple Mario off the internet, and I actually got, it was all messed up, and I created this sprite sheet. Um, and put it together and he's perfectly uh, distance apart from each one of these so he's equidistant uh, left to right um, so here's my animation and basically we're gonna fly through it one two three four and that's for when he's walking to the right so I want to limit to it to four one two three four one two three four so it'll look like he continues walking forever and ever um, Yes, so now we will, uh, I'll provide this image for you inside of the link so you can uh, uh, use it as well to test out. So first of all, we're going to get rid of all this this stuff, all this stuff that's uh, sitting around here. Uh, we don't need all these rectangles and we don't need to draw this image or anything of this anymore. We'll just delete all that. We'll delete this array test. Uh, we'll delete this here, we'll delete the rec draws, and we'll keep, uh, we'll delete that. So now we're nice and clean at this stage with nothing but our basic framework. So um, let's create an animation. So we'll do uh, var anim is equal to new animation. And remember we had quite a few variables that went in there. What I like to do is just go over copy them, paste them in here, and see what we got here. All right, I happen to know that it uh, its size is 16, 16, so it's 16 width, 16 height. Um, zero on the column, start, or the column, uh, zero, zero on the row, zero on the column. Uh, our limit is actually going to be 8. I know I said the first 4, but the first 4 is just him walking on one side and uh, not the other. So uh, the first two rows are dedicated to him walking to the right and the second two him walking to the left. So now we do our image source, which is just going to be Mario.pngs for transparency. Uh, there's an 8 here. I hope I didn't do that in the framework. Okay, good. So uh, let's open up our Mario again, and uh, let's see. It has one. It has four columns: one, two, three, four, five rows. So four columns and five rows. Um, so you can see we're gonna play the first eight. Uh, right hands on the up in the back, and the right hands on the front. So we're gonna play the first eight. So for columns, we'll put four, and for rows, we'll put five, and the FPS will be twelve. I want to play at 12 frames per second. Now we can uh, now play our animation. So we'll do, uh, let's see if our draw only takes in context. And we haven't, let's actually set our position first. So let's say uh, anim.position is equal to, or dot set, we'll set it to uh, 50 and 50. Now we can say anim dot draw ctx. Now let's find out if we have any errors. Um, let me open up my browser. Let's go to ferrisarts.com slash demo. All right, there he is, just standing in place. He's not moving, so that means we do have uh, something wrong with our animation. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll check it out and uh, come back when I figure out what the issue is. All right, I am back and I figured out some of the problems. So our first problem is that we're not updating. So uh, sorry about that. We want to create an update function. So set interval function. And our update wants to be at 1. So we want to be greedy with our updates, do it as much as possible. So every fraction of a millisecond sorry every millisecond we want to do it and in there we want to add our anim.update 
and we don't need to pass in a position because we're not moving. So uh, now we go back to our framework, and in our framework, we since we're not passing a position, we need to add a check here. If pos uh, pause is not equal to null, then we'll execute this dot position is equal to pause. And now we also uh, just for sake I just saw it when I was doing stuff we want to add uh, rows you know, up here to do the same check as columns so this dot rows is equal to null or this dot rows is equal to uh, zero and we can even break that out so we're not really doing that in uh, the same function because we might pass columns but no rows There we go. So uh, that looks better. And now um, let's go back to our demo. Let's go to ferrisarts.com slash demo. And there we go. We have a character animating um, uh, control zoom. And you can see, hey, he's animating. So there we go. We have our animation class working. Uh, he's animating and it looks pretty cool so uh, hey we have animations uh, we have intersection with rectangles for collision we have uh, vector twos we have color we have drawing we have updating so I'd say right about now we're even uh, even with the pro and we have prototypes for arrays for lists uh, for list like behavior I say hey right now you're even able to uh, start making games uh, just based off of this knowledge. There's more to come, and uh, there's other things about the game framework that come into play. Uh, obviously, you may, I, well, you may not actually be able to make a game yet because you haven't done inputs. So uh, I actually want to knock that one out right now. So uh, we'll do an inputs class to take in a ton of inputs and a ton of possibilities for handling input. And it's going to be pretty big, but pretty easy, a lot of duplication. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'm going to start on that inputs uh, video now.